Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And this is, we're back doing a brand new deck, the final ruler of the AO3 block, which is Reflect and Refrain. I, I'm personally not a fan of them, but we gotta show them. Uh, it, they're really weird. Yeah. They do a lot of different stuff compared to the other two, so it's gonna be a bit strange to watch us play this. Yeah. Um, but before we get into it, guys, I just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We'd greatly appreciate it. With that, we're going to delve into the deck of Reflect and Refrain that I like to call Illusions Abound. Mm -hmm. So, the twins, they are a little boy and a little girl. Yep. And it's kind of ridiculous what they do. So, Reflect, he is Stranger 10. So, you have the Stranger rule like normal. Uh, and then Energize Red or a Blue. As the first turn starts, you may invert this card. So you can automatically change it to the other side. And whichever side that it's on, they get a certain keyword. Yep. So Reflect gets Passion. And whenever a Fire Regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If the Regalia is changed to the heart, you choose up to two instead. Produce a red, or this card deals 600 damage to target player or J Resonator, or destroy target damage Resonator. So you're going to be playing kind of a weird control -y deck. It, it's, it's very strange how it works. Yeah. And it's going to take a little bit, I'll tell you that. But once you figure it out, I think they'd be really, really strong as a ruler. You just got to figure out the right numbers. Yeah, the influx of cards of how to play yeah. them, pretty much. Um, but the other side, they are not a J ruler, so know that. Yeah. They're just ruler. Um, and he turns into Refrain and is a little girl. So you gain Calmness on the other side, and it's blue. Whenever Water Regalion is the field under your control, choose one. If it, if it's change the heart, choose up to two instead. Produce a blue, rest target entity, or draw a card. So, we're playing a weird control deck, and that's kind of what this deck is supposed to do. Uh, the strangers, so if you notice, they didn't have any way to make strangers or nope. get strangers, but that's in the cards in the deck. So it's, it's, it's just like different. That. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll go through the strangers that I have for it. It's pretty simple, pretty like straightforward on what they're doing to do. Uh, first is Barust, the Machine God of Conflagration. He is two red for an 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, resonators you control get plus two plus O. Oh. That's mostly why you want him, and he's doing it while, while attacking. And you can awaken it for an extra red, and J resonators you control gain swiftness. So, you can do green, but we don't have the green to do that, so it doesn't really yeah. matter. But you're mostly there for plus two plus O, oh, and hey, so, uh, he's very angry. Very yeah. Angry. Uh, next is Triton, the Prince of the Ocean. He has two blue quick cast, 8-8. Eight, eight. Other water resonators you control gain plus two plus two. Simple. Pumping up our dudes. Uh, Undyne, the Spirit. It is a blue and one for a 7-7 seven, seven quick cast flying. Enter return up to three target non-J resonator, non-magic stun entities to their owner's hand. That's mostly so you can return any kind of silly additions or your regalia to your hand to do the, the change the heart again. Yep. Um, we got Blue Wizard. Because you need blue wizards. They're just strong right now because they stop things. Yep. Uh, one blue, six, six, quick cast, enter, cancel target automatic ability of a resonator. You're gonna use it, it's gonna trigger. More fair lore, right? Yeah. Uh, next up is Ushua, the flame samurai. He is three red and one for a 17, 17. And enter, this card deals 17 damage to target resonator. Simple as that. If this card would deal more damage to the resonator than its capacity this way, it deals the rest to the controller gross so you're just like cool you're seven seven take seven you take, take ten, ten. Uh, that seems fair right for four mana and you have a way to give it a swiftness with the other ruler uh strangers so you're just like cool take 17 yeah gross uh next up is shurin the king of supremacy he has three red for a 10 10 with swiftness if your opponent was dealt damage this turn you may pay two red to play this card instead yeah. so essentially you have ref uh reflect out you play your change of the heart, you shoot them for six. This dude costs one mana. And you're like, cool, pay one mana, take ten. Dark. Same. Seems good. Yeah. All right, the first resonator we have is Lei Huang, the Concealed Expression. One red and one six six human. This card gains quickness as long as you control a dragon emblem red. This uh, card gains enter, rest all J slash resonators your opponent's control as long as you control a dragon emblem blue. And then this card gains plus four, plus four in swiftness as long as you control a, a vermilion dragon emblem. Yeah. So those are back. Yeah, we're playing the we're playing the dragon emblems, just the red and the blue ones. So don't go crazy. Yeah. Uh, and the next one we have is Genshi Tenson. Uh, he has a red blue and one for an eight eight high god, and he enters 
If you have Fushi, you get both, but we don't, so you only get one. You, you either gain Dragon Emblem Red or Dragon Emblem Blue. Um, as long as you control Dragon Emblem Red, this card gains, if a source, a red source would you control would deal damage, it deals that much plus four. Good. That's so good. Yeah. And then as long as you control Dragon Emblem Blue, this card does, at the end of your turn, draw a card. So regardless what you get with him, you're going to be ridiculous. Yeah. And Reflect does count as a red card, so you just get to be like, change the heart, take ten. <laughs> Seem, I, seems good, because you only need to play that four times. Yeah, uh, that's it. So, yeah. Why not? All right, next one is Shahrazad, the Teller of Heroic Epics. It's a blue and a red 7-7 seven, seven wonder. It has Barrier Chant, which is cool. And then as long as you control Reflect or Flame, you gain Passion and Calmness together. So, enter. Put a story counter on this card. This card is Awaken. Put five story counters on the card. And Awaken it, you have to recover it a... A you have to rest a recovered regalia you control, so simple as that, pretty much. And then, remove a story counter from this card. Look at the card of the stranger deck at random, you may play it with, uh, by paying the cost. So that's how you get your strangers. Yeah. He is there to help you get your strangers. That's his main purpose in the deck. He's really strong, he does a lot for you, just that's what he's there. And a 7-7 seven, seven for 2 is nothing to shy out to. Yeah. Uh, next up is the blue illusionary hero. He is two blue and one for an 8-8 eight, eight illusion. If you have calmness, you pay one less to play this card. If you control red illusionary hero, you pay a blue less to play this card. Enter, if you have calmness, target resonator gains barrier and plus oh plus four until end of turn, invert your ruler. So they help each other if you have the other one and they do special stuff with each side. But if you have shares on, you get calmness and passion so they would trigger all of that. Yep. The next one is red illusionary hero. Basically the same picture. They didn't even swap out the characters, which is funny. Two red and one, eight, eight. Uh, swiftness, and if you have passion, you may pay one less to play. If you control blue legendary, you pay one, rest, one red to play less. Enter. If you have passion, target resonator against first strike at plus 400 until in a turn, invert your ruler. So this just helps you just get in for, and swing him. Yeah, and if you have Genshi out and play with Dragon Emblem Red, that dude hits for the way harder. Oh yeah. Because he gets plus four damage. Uh, next up is the Red Illusionary Dragon. It is two red and two for a 10-10 dragon with flying and swiftness. If you have passion, it costs two less to play. So it can only cost two. Pay one if you have passion. This card does 400 damage to target resonator and this card gains plus four plus zero until the end of turn. Invert your ruler. Again, Genshi attention just makes this deck so much more ridiculous. Yeah. And I'm sure because you're going to have passion no matter what with him. So you'd be like, bow, 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 kill yeah. your dudes. Yeah. And invert your dude how many times you ever care for. Yeah. Ridiculous. It's pretty pretty silly. Next one is Blue Illusionary Dragon of Calmness. Same thing. Same art, just different color. Right? Uh, two blue, two quick cast, ten ten. Uh, flying as well. If you have Calmness, you may pay two less to play this card, which a two two quickness or a ten ten for two quickness <laughs> is uh, pretty good. Yeah. You pay one if you have Calmness, target, rest target entity. And this card gains plus zero, plus four until end of turn. Invert your ruler. I mean, yeah, why not? I'll take it. Yeah, if yeah. I can pay one and tap down your dude and I get bigger, great. Just tap all your dudes. Go for yeah. it. Next is Change the Heart. It is a red blue. It's a regalia for uh, Reflect and Refrain. It adds a two will in any combination for uh, Mage Arts. Yep. Then you can tap, produce a red or a blue. If you control Passion or Calmness, you may invert your ruler. So this either forces you to invert your ruler how you want, or it gives you extra mana for mage arts. Yeah, and which is kind of cool because this is like a little mana, like a will rock, you know? Yeah. So this can either be a red and a blue for any spell you have, which is awesome. That, or you can pay two for just mage yeah. arts, which is amazing. Although it's, well, it kind of looks like a stone, to be honest. Yeah. Butterfly effect, it's a red and a blue quick cast. It's a mage art as well. If you have Passion, this card gains. This card deals 800 damage to target resonator your opponent controls, chosen at random. And if you have Calmness, this card gains return target, non-magic stone, non j rule entity to its owner's hand, draw a card. So if you have the dude that gives you both, then you just go top down. As simple as that. Yeah. yeah. You always read top down, and this card gets kind of out of hand too, because you're just like, hey, shoot that dude. Yep. Get I draw rid of that dude. Yeah, thanks. Next is Reflect Summoning. It is two red for a Mage Art. If you have Passion, you pay a red less to play this card. So one red, you put an 8-4 Fire Beast Resonator with Enter. This card deals damage equal to its attack to target Resonator. Then if you have Passion, invert your ruler into the field. Really good. Yeah. And again, still triggering off of Genshin. 
like this dude that gets to come into play and shoot a dude for even more. Yeah. And it's just an A4 dude for two. Yeah. Next one is Refrain sum Summoning. It's two blue, Mage Art. If you have Calmness, you may pay blue less to play this card. Put a 4-8 Water Beast token with Enter. Draw three cards and put two from your hand on top of the deck in any order. Then if you have Calmness, invert your ruler into the field. Just to be yeah. able to do that is very powerful. Yeah. If you know from other uh, TCGs out there. Next up is Shahrazad's Heroic Epic. It is a blue, red, and one for a Mage Art. Choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it into the field. It is one of the few cards that just puts them straight into play. Yeah. Um, and it's a mage art, so it's kind of just one mana if you have changed the heart, essentially. Yeah. Just tap one mana, I get a stranger. Because you, you pay one mana and change the heart, and you're like, cool, sweet, free stranger. But, thanks. Next one is Between Passion and Calmness. It's two red, two blue, one quick, quick quest. Quick cast mage art. If you have passion, you may pay two less to play this card. And choose one, remove target resonator from the game, or resonators you control gain plus six until end of turn. If you have calmness, you may pay two red less to play this, so no matter what, it's just three. And then you put a target non-magic stone, non-J roller entity on the bottom of the owner's deck, or draw a card. Yeah, there's also potential for this to cost one if you have Shahar's item play. Yeah. And it's, it's just a really good spell to end the game with, because you can give all of your dudes plus six, plus oh, or however big, if they're red, they get bigger, so yeah. forth, so on. It's just, it's kind of ridiculous. You're just like, cool, I need to kill you. Let's do this. And it helps get rid of a regalia, for mm -hmm. sure. Just get it out and put it underneath their stuff. Uh, next up is the stones. That was that was the deck for the most part. The stones are really simple. Uh, we're playing four Ataractes Memoria, and that's the red, blue, like the, it equals to your ruler stone. Yeah, so good. Solid. Uh, we're also playing four Magic Stone of the Hearth Core, which is the red, blue, dual stone. And the other stone that I threw in that's kind of like a it's like a nod to the older cards, it is Magic Stone of the Hermit. It adds a red, or you can tap banish this card, target dragon, gain swiftness. So it's for your dragons that you have. If you really need to give them swiftness, you can. Yeah. This is just better than a, a fire stone because it can have an ability. At least. Yeah. There's no negatives to it. Really. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to use it, but cool. I have it there if, if I need you, to. If you want to swing 10 quickly, then it'll yeah. work out for you. Yeah. Um, but... The deck is going to be pretty wild to see what it does because it, it's 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 going to be very different for both of us to play. Yeah, so just sure. know that it's going to be crazy because I don't play decks like this very often because I don't I don't understand them that much. It's just how it is, yeah. really. You definitely have to keep track of what's on the <laughs> yeah. side. Um, but the deck list will be down below, guys. Check it out. Leave a like and a comment and let us know what you think about it. And we will see y'all again next time. Bye. Bye. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.